Hey what's going on guys, John here and welcome back to the channel. So we finally got some good news with FSD Beta 10.13 and this is going to be the interesting thing here. It has been renamed ever since the AI event. So originally 10.13 was delayed twice and you guys can check out my videos on why that is and why we really think that 10.13 is taking much longer than it should be. There's been so much debate online about whether it's purely about Chuck's left turn or it's about something else in the back and the neural net. Why human drivers are required to go on location and I repeat these routes over and over to get it to work. Well, on AI Day, Elon went on stage and he essentially said that 10.13 is no longer it. It's going to be renamed to 10.69. And most people were probably thinking this is a joke because 69, why not? But uh, this is not a joke because Elon went on Twitter to reconfirm and say that it's such a big upgrade from 10.12 that they're going to rename it 10.69 just to show how many things have been changed under the hood. Now, the most important thing here is that he even dropped a specific date which he's never done before in terms of fsd beta builds he's always said next week on the weekend or something along that line but this time around in the tweet he said on august 20th it will drop so on august 20th you guys can wait out and probably by midnight of the 19th you're gonna see that update to your car and you can go back into chuck's left turn area and see if it has fixed that now maybe just maybe there is gonna be a chance that 10.69 is gonna be so good that the hands on the steering wheel nag is gonna be removed uh, sooner or later and it's going to start to use a uh, facial tracking from the interior camera up there just to make sure that you are still aware, still active and still looking at the road. But it's going to take that force of you putting the hands on the steering wheel off and you're just able to relax in the car while it does its thing. Now for myself at the moment, 10.12 has been performing pretty well to be honest. There hasn't been many cases that I had to take control of the car. It did a lot of its thing. It did a perfect left turns. So I think 10.69 is going to be more for those edge cases just like Chuck's left turn, just like a lot of other uh, turns out there that I'm just not familiar with. But uh, I think this is going to be a big improvement and it's going to get to that point where we don't really have to focus anymore and it's going to become level 3 and level 4. Alright, so one final note to this update is that probably there's going to be a lot of additions of FSD beta testers added to this pool. So if you guys are with a score of 96 and above and you're just waiting and waiting for your car to have FSD beta, you're probably going to be joining us this time around and we'll be glad to have you as part of the family of testers because there needs to be a lot more cars on the road with FSD beta for the car to get better and better over time. I know for a fact there are a lot of cases up here, up in the northern, northern part of Canada, where FSD beta is not going to perform at all. So eventually it's going to be required that there are beta testers up there. So they're going to have to add superchargers. They're going to make it a lot more accessible to make sure that the car is capable of going through all the roads regardless of the scenario. So just to sum everything up, Tesla needs to push out 10.69 and they need to add a lot more people to the FSD beta pool and eventually need to push it out wide for everybody to have because there are thousands and thousands of scenarios just like Chuck's left turn and they can't really just be focusing on his left turn and perfecting that when there are so much more on the road they need to focus on. So anyways guys this should wrap it up for this video. We are all excited for 10.13 or 10.69 whatever they rename it to to arrive on August 20th. So anyways guys this should wrap it up once again this is John. Peace out.